Hello, preview show time, and we're off to Lincoln City. The U's are in good form, and so is Steve Seven. So it says, let's um, start with a word on Cheltenham. I thought um, perhaps a, a frustrating performance, but he did well to, to rally and get the point in the end. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously it was frustrating not to get all three points, but I think that's just, you know, at times that's football. You know what I mean? You go from a performance of the, like, the two, three days before against Wimbledon to then obviously that. That's, you know, disappointing, but that's football. So, yeah. Yeah, I think... Um, the intensity of that of that Wimbledon game, it's so difficult to, to replicate that, what was it, just two days later? Yeah, exactly, yeah, and I, don't, I think their game had been postponed, mm. isn't it? So, I mean, it, I think every game's different, uh, and unfortunately for us, that was just a frustrating one. We're midway through the season now, um, in the playoff places, job far from done, but it's a really promising position to be in, isn't it, going into the second Yeah, definitely, season. I don't think anyone's, like, you know, wrestling on their laurels, I think, like, with the way the club is, everyone's pushing on to, to get higher and, and further. And the, the, the attendances, particularly the last two home games, have been really promising. Every, everyone seems to be to be rallying around you, don't they, at the moment? And really getting yeah, involved. definitely. Yeah, and I think, you know, the time of the year helps as well, sort of like around that Christmas period. Um, and then, of course, like, you know, yeah, it's been really good and, and helps us a lot. We've got some big games coming up at home as well, Sheffield Wednesday, Portsmouth, Bolton. We're going to need that support. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, like that's a good that's a good run of games. Mm -hmm. Like they're the games you want to play in. You don't, you know, at the start of the season, you don't, you know, you're not really looking when you're playing Cheltenham. To be fair, um, but obviously, like not beating Cheltenham on Saturday sort of puts the pressure on us going and taking three points at home from them ones. And they're exactly the runs as well that you've shown. When you when you face those tough games in, in a short period of time, you step up and you can fight and you'll get through those. those yeah, that's the thing. I think, and I think that's um, you know that that's really the difference between you know getting the playoffs or or getting automatics and 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 not. You know what I mean? I think is is those bigger results sort of things that those games that are probably the six pointers. Before that, we've got Lincoln away on Saturday. What are you expecting from them as a team? Yeah, I think you know. Um, the analysis boys do a lot of hard work, um, uh, so I think like obviously they they show us what what we're doing, and and, and how Lincoln will play, and obviously we'll, we'll go up against that. But obviously it's Lincoln that they'd be a good side. They've probably not had the best year, but um, yeah, they'll be good. It was quite a rudimentary three-one win last time when we played them at home. Um, Away is a different story, isn't it? Yeah, it's, you know, it's definitely not going to be like that. Um, you know, there's always other factors that come into it. Um, you know, no two games are ever the same now. And, um, you know, it's just about going there and put, performing well. So that's the first of two player interviews in this preview show. Cameron Brannigan will be along a little later to talk about the game. But we also wanted to talk about off the field and the club's plans to have over 10,000 people against Sheffield Wednesday at the next home game. So Liam Potter, who heads up the social media and works closely with the ticketing people, came and sat in this chair. Stop moving things and pretending you're <laughs> properly being interviewed. Um, People who love the sight of me, I can't sit that side, I'm not allowed to sit next to the people, so Liam has to sit that side of the table and I do. I am here, but that is, it's not a recording. Um, I was going to ask you about, um, we started a campaign for the Sheffield Wednesday uh, game, trying to get 10,000. Is that realistic? Absolutely. I think if, if we can get 8,300 against Cheltenham, um, pushing 8,000 against AFC Wimbledon in the middle of Christmas, then... I mean, I can't see 10,000 against Sheffield Wednesday who are going to bring thousands themselves. Um, um, what's the away capacity? 1,800, is it? Uh, yes, I think so. Um, yeah, so if they're, if they're going to bring 1,800 fans, which I'm sure they will, they're, they're, they're a big club. Um, they're also pushing for, for a playoff place themselves. I'm going to ask you a sensible question. Um, the season t there, was a, there was a time, I think, when season ticket holders, not all of the season ticket holders were coming, and, it was diff and people were not feeling all that comfortable go into football do you th you're not an expert on this but do you think we are beyond that i think so yeah um obviously we, we understand if people still still feel that way with the, with the circumstances at the moment but um i think we, we've proven that football grounds can be a safe place to be it's outside um people are sensible in and around the concourses they, they do wear their masks um if you have any reservations then of course we understand that but um yeah come along if you can because it, it's going to be going to be quite a game I think. Well, on a similar topic, I love the fact that you do the social media now. So when, for example, our star midfielder is, is 
having selfies taken at the darts and there's 4,000 <laughs> people in Ali Pali. You have to deal with that situation, don't you now? So uh, how did, you, did your little heart sink when you saw that? Or Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't lie about that. But, um, <laughs> It's, it's the way of the world now. You, you, people are allowed to do that. Um, it, it doesn't matter if you're if you're a footballer or, or a punter. You can um, you can go to these events, can't yeah. you? It's, it's not it's not illegal. They're not breaking any rules. So yeah, and the, it, there wasn't a midweek game, so I, I didn't have any problem with that. No, I, Cam and I usually talk about such things, and um, there'll be an interview after this. I'll tell you what, I'll ask him about his experience at the dance after we've done this. We'll put you in the middle of the preview show. Uh, last thing, then this is a preview show, not Sheffield Wednesday. This is a, oh, actually no. Before I move on to that, Wickham. Sold out, correct? Yes, uh, sold out. So please do not travel um, if 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 you don't have a ticket. Um, there will not be any more available. Um, that is our full application. So yeah, before even making general sales. So you, you can see how how in demand watching this team is. Which is why we think the Sheffield Wednesday one will be big. Exactly. And that won't be the last either because there's Portsmouth still to come. Portsmouth, Bolton, yeah. Ipswich, Sunderland, all at yeah. home. They're massive. Yeah, um, absolutely. Um, and uh, before all of those, we're off to Lincoln. We're off to Sinsel Bank. Um, obviously I worked with Michael I think it was before your time here and uh, whatever he will want to win this one forgetting the league positions that's going to add a little extra spice to it absolutely um, he's, he's a winner we know that from, from his time here um, and obviously we, we did beat them 3-1 um, here, here at home uh, but it's not going to be the same story I don't think um, it's always different away um, he'll make it tough mm. uh, we, we all know the style of play he, he likes to play um, and what he's good at, so yeah, bring it on. Okay, now I can't do the name game because I can't sit over that side of the table next to the people. That will come back. Uh, we'll keep, stick with the match back. Now, if I were you, Mr. Editor, I would definitely not do the time we won 6 0 there. I have not done that. I'm not talking to you about football, I want to talk about the darts, but I saw your Insta story. Come on. Come on, if I have my hair, if I get one of them spiky things, I am a dead ringer, aren't I? Oh, I never thought about it, you yeah. spitting image. I am the spitting image, just part of the fact I can't throw the dart. Speed. <laughs> I can do them all, if I shave this beard off, I'm Van Gerwen. I've got the whole lot, haven't I? I never noticed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Can you snake bite me. I am snake bite me. Can you do darts? Are you just a watcher? Just a watcher. <laughs> I'm awful, mate. But to, no, I was saying to them, then, uh, if, if anyone's thinking about going, go. Yeah. It was class. Yeah, but what you don't want is the boss to then turn up. <laughs> well, you couldn't write it, so we're in. Take, take this in, so turn up at the venue. I think there was, there was three or four Oxford fans in the queue. <laughs> so we got a picture or whatever, and <laughs> so we're going to the venue. 
get a FaceTime. <laughs> Gaffer. So I'm thinking, I'm not answering that. So anyway, I didn't answer it. And he rang me. <laughs> Gaffer, I'll answer it. So I answered it and he goes, where are you? So I just went there at the dart. So he went, so am I. I turned around and he was stood there. So I mean, I couldn't really hide. But no, it was, it was a good laugh. And, you know, I, yeah, we, we laughed and joked about it, to be honest. But it was... Yeah, it was it was good to go to. It also, and I, I'm semi-serious about this. People in a crowd getting back to normality. It's important, isn't it? Everyone's got to get back to how we used to be. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I think we've we've gone through a lot over the past whatever it's been, and I think just to see people enjoying themselves again, yeah. and you know, being around people that you care for and your friends and your family, and yeah, it's it's nice. Um, you know, I've not been to, you know, like a fan in, in, a, in a bit of an arena stadium like that in a while, to be honest. So yeah. it was nice to, it was nice to be there. The atmosphere was great. And yeah, yeah it, was a, it was a real good night. Uh, which is more likely, you scoring a 180, uh, 147 at snooker, or a holding one at, at golf? Which one are you most likely, most likely to be able God. to do? What? The what's, 180, the what's, I, the, what's the time? I, yeah. <laughs> what's the I time? think you can fluke a 180. I don't I think mean, you can fluke a 147. I mean, you say you can fluke a one. Well, I mean, what? It's that big? There's no way I'm hitting that three times. I can't see as it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was, sat about, I was sat about two rolls away from the darts board. Well, you want to be careful. If one flies out and itch. Well, yeah. I'm thinking I'm looking at the board. <laughs> I can't see anything. I've never been. I'm just watching the big screen. <laughs> Can we talk about football now, shall we? Lincoln City uh, on Saturday. Uh, we're, we're doing really, really strongly, aren't we? But that is a difficult place to go to. They're, and Michael will have them flying. That's a difficult trip. Yeah, we, I always say there's no easy game in League One. Um, you can play anyone. And um, it's always a tough game. So, yeah, I mean, I know Michael's a, a good gaffer and I know he'll get his team playing the right way. and. They won't make it easy for us at all. I think it'll be a real tough game. Um, so we have to be at our best, mm. like every Saturday or Tuesday we play. Um, but we're saying in there we work every day on what we're good at, you know, and things that we're not good at on the training ground. So, you know, come Saturday we'll be ready for, for Lincoln and hopefully we can be good enough on the day to get the three points. I heard somebody actually said to me the other day, it's the teams around us, the playing Sheffield Wednesdays and Wickham's in the next couple of weeks that are the big games, you've got to nick points off them. That's irrelevant. You got it's everybody. It's everybody. There's no. You can't. I can't look at anyone and say, "Oh yeah, we're going to win this or we're going to win that." Because that doesn't work like that. Especially in football, it never ever works like that. Um, so yeah, we we're going to come up against every side, and it's going to be tough. And you know, we're in a good position, but we've achieved absolutely nothing. So yeah. it's alright us saying, "Oh yeah, we're in the top six, but yeah. <laughs> doesn't doesn't mean anything. We we need to be there at the end of the season, if not top two. So that's our aim, that's our goal, and we've got to push as much as we can to get that. Uh, last question for me today: um, Herbie Kane staying for the rest of the season. Brilliant news. I don't understand a word he says, but it's it's brilliant news that he's here. You and him certainly bounce off each other in training, on, in matches. You're on the same wavelength. I don't think that's a good thing for you, by the way. But you're on the same wavelength, aren't you? No, yeah. We were talking again in there. He's a great kid. Love him being around the building. Known him now for well, a good few years now. So, especially when we were at Liverpool and we, we, we grew up together a little bit. So, yeah, he knows how I work. I know he works. He's a great kid off the pitch. So, yeah, we get on really well. and. You know, we care a lot mm. and you can see that on the Saturday, you know, if things, you know, are not going too well, we'll always give it 100%. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, like I said, I bounce off him, he bounces off me and we've got to keep that, that partnership going. And I've also got an idea for you. Get your goal ratio up. Take the penalties off Taylor because look at what he did with the last one he had. Don't, Come on now. Don't. No? I've told him already, don't worry about that. He knows. 